good morning children we begin this morning's class with the topic price flow which is the second there are two specific situations where the impact of the government regulates the market equilibrium the first one we learned yesterday was price ceiling okay today we are going to learn about price flow price flow okay you may write down when the government imposes a lower limit on the price within brackets minimum price minimum price that may be charged for a good or service which is higher than equilibrium price is called price flow so when the government imposes a lower limit on the price and they call it a minimum price that may be charged for a good or a service which is higher than the equilibrium price this is termed as price flow now through the diagram we will understand it but carry on writing when i come to the diagrammatic part i will explain the theory price flow is generally imposed on agricultural price support programs and the minimum wage legislation wage legislation right on point a point a agricultural price support agricultural price support program this is point a agricultural price support program through an agricultural price support program the government imposes 
a lower limit on the purchase price for some of the agricultural goods and the flow is normally and the flow is normally set at a level higher than the market than the market price for these goods point b b point minimum wage legislation minimum wage legislation through the minimum wage legislation the government ensures that the wage rate of the laborers does not fall below a particular level and here again the minimum wage rate is set above above the equilibrium wage rate it can be explained with the help of a diagram now you see children the diagram yesterday we learned children when the demand curve and the supply curve of the market cut at each other and at point that point is called the equilibrium price which is fixed by the market so we have the equilibrium price fixed by the market as op if for some reasons this equilibrium price is less especially for agricultural products 
now listen to me carefully children suppose the farmers have a bumper crop you know what is a bumper crop a very good crop let us take sugar cane they have a very good sugar cane product now if they have to sell that sugar cane in the market price which is very low for them they would be at a loss so normally what does the government do they fix a price which is above the market equilibrium price so now they fix the price let's say here p1 or this price here let's say And uh, the supply would be a uh, okay O two O one. This point we call A, and this point we call B. Now this part which is there, this is excess supply. Excess supply. Why? Because when a price is fixed at O P one. The demand is only P O Q, P O O Q zero, but the supply is O Q one at this point. To this point, the demand is supply is here. To this part, which is the extra part, is called the extra supply. Okay. So to help the farmers. the government intervenes and they impose a price floor which is higher than the equilibrium price or the market price which is fixed by the market equilibrium now you may ask me what happens to this excess supply which is there so when we have a price support system which leads to a surplus of output which is this surplus is purchased by the government in other words the government needs to buy the surplus at the predetermined price so that the prices which is being offered to the farmers would benefit them otherwise what would happen they would be forced to sell their products at the equilibrium price that is at op which is lower than the price which is fixed by the government the government says no they will sell at the price op1 but the market says the price should be op which is lower but the government intervenes intervenes why to benefit the farmers so that they get a minimum price support nuksan na ho just because you have a good crop doesn't mean you sell it at cheap price no otherwise next year the farmers would say probably why should we produce this because we are not getting a sufficient price for it we will we will grow something else probably this could be one reaction so the government intervenes when they find that the market price is low and especially the farmers will not benefit from them so they fix what is called a minimum price flow कि ये मिनिमम प्राइस है दिस प्राइस शुड बी गिवन टू द फार्मर ओपी वन दे विल सेल देयर प्रोडक्ट्स एट ओपी वन नॉट एट ओपी बिकॉज ओपी इज लोअर इफ दिस सेल इट एट ओपी एट द मार्केट प्राइस दे विल बी एट अ लॉस सो द गवर्नमेंट इंटरवींस टू गिव देम अ मिनिमम प्राइस support so get the minimum price support 
so they are assured ki whatever you produce the output whatever you have no panic you will get a minimum price support and through the diagram we see that when the price increases to op1 it cuts the demand curve at point a and the supply it cuts at point b so demand is pa but supply is pb what is more supply is more than the demand so what does it create it creates an excess supply yes or no it creates an excess supply because demand is not here and demand is at this price this much but my supply is this much how much is extra this much this point a and b is the excess supply now this excess supply the government says no problem we will buy it we will buy it for our buffer stocks we buy it and we will keep it so that the farmers will get a minimum price support and this minimum price support is termed as a price floor understood this is the minimum they will get when you sell it to the government you will get a price op1 which is above the price op which is fixed by the market forces of demand and supply i hope i am clear children is that very clear to you anyone has a problem if the term is not clear please remember these are just terms opposite to what we use in real life what do we associate ceiling upar but in that case ceiling is what niche a price fixed below the market price right aaj humne what did we learn price flow what do we associate flow the mean down but is it really down no in reality it is above the market price so it ensures the farmers a minimum support price and this in economic terms is termed as price flow and this is normally done for what products agricultural products to benefit the farmers okay and i'd given you examples of one crop it could be any other crop as well wheat rice when we have a bumper crop then what happens farmers normally fear because we have a very good we have a very good output the market sustain bechna padega no the government intervenes and they set a minimum price flow so through the agricultural price support program the government imposes a lower limit on the purchase price that this is the minimum you will get if you will sell it not this you will get a minimum price of this okay resulting from the free market free market mein agar aap demand aur supply cuts ye banega it will be op okay and that is lower than the flow similarly for wages the second point i gave you was b minimum wage legislation okay what does it through the minimum wage legislation legislation is a law the government will ensure that the wage rate of the laborers does not fall below a particular level and here again a minimum wage rate is fit fixed which is always above the equilibrium wage rate so a worker also is assured of a minimum wage rate so he has to go to the market he knows that he is assured this amount as a wage rate and not the wage rate which is set by the forces of the market so this minimum flow is for two aspects the agricultural price support as well as the minimum wage legislation 
to set a minimum wage for the laborer and we are assured this is the minimum rate if you go to pick up a job or work this is the minimum wage rate people have to pay you minimum am i clear children is this term clear if it is may i may i have an indication from you that you have understood the term so that we can go on good only two have understood three have understood good okay thank you yeah so with this children we now you will write down have you done the diagram so now we will write the explanation to the diagram write down bd and ss are the demand curves and the supply curves bd is the demand curve and ss is the supply curve second point suppose the equilibrium price suppose the equilibrium price op o p is not so profitable for farmers comma to help the farmers the government must intervene and impose a price floor of p1 which is above the equilibrium price third point since the price p1 is above the equilibrium price p the quantity supplied p1 b p1 b this is b exceeds the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity demanded p1 a p1 a so there is excess supply in case of excess supply fourth point would be in case of excess supply the farmers of these commodities need not sell at prices lower than the prices 
fixed by the government. The surplus quantity will be purchased by the government. So this is an explanation to the diagram. The excess supply will be purchased by the government. So with this we end today's class and we will meet again with a new topic, something new. Okay, until then, all of you have a nice day and be safe.